Should Steve Bannon be fired? Should Steve Bannon be fired, sir? Michael Wolff's fire and fury paints a damning picture of the U.S. president. It includes the views of administration insiders, some of whom question his fitness for office. Trump tried to block publication, claiming the book is full of lies, but his legal threats may have boosted sales. Our Keith Bogue has more on the claims inside the cover. Okay, but you're taking two. Clearly, the president's last-minute legal maneuvers couldn't keep the book off the shelves, and it was snapped up. Big leak. From what I've read so far, it's um, terrifying. Is it fake news? Is it something someone wanted to put out? I don't know. But um, I'm definitely going to read it and going to talk about it. What the book says the people around Donald Trump believe about the president is indeed worrisome. They say he's um, a, a moron, an idiot. Author Michael Wolff laid out what even Trump's supporters, friends and family say. The one description that that everyone gave, everyone has in common. They all say he is like a child. The president said the book is full of lies and his supporters went to bat for him, arguing that if it isn't entirely true, then you can't believe any of it. The question is, if 10% isn't true, if 20% isn't true, if 30%, uh, what is the reader supposed to guess? What is accurate and what isn't? My credibility is being questioned by a man who has less credibility than perhaps anyone who has ever walked on earth at this point. Steve Bannon, Trump's former campaign chair and strategic advisor, is the source for some of the most damaging material in the book. But Joshua Green, who wrote his own book on Bannon and Trump called Devil's Bargain, says don't be fooled into thinking Bannon was being cleverly strategic. No, I think the big mistake that people will make in reading this book, I've seen some of this on television, is people saying, oh, well, there was some clever strategy here. Bannon was doing X, Y, and Z. Uh, the only thing Bannon was doing was, was nursing his own ego and uh, gi giving vent to his own view of the people inside the Trump administration, including the president himself, in a way uh, that has sealed his political fate. There have been many books about Trump, but this one seems to have found a particular audience. I heard that it pissed the president off, so I decided to buy it. Within hours, it had shot to the top of Amazon and Barnes & Noble's bestsellers lists. Normally, that's right where Trump likes to be. Keith Bogue, CBC News, Washington.